Now for this next one, we're going to review the fish. Now the fish starts off with a mark similar to the bamboo. I'm going to hold the brush sideways with a two-tone load. In this case, I'm going to start with a lot of pressure to make a big mark, and then I'm going to lift up and make a curve. And this is going to make the back of the fish. Oh, I need to start that mark a little bit over and then get lighter until I get a nice crescent. That's giving me the fish's back. The next one is going to be a spin similar to the comma. I start where I want the nose of the fish. I press, I add pressure, and I spin the brush between my fingers as I do that, going up the forehead, spinning down the side, and creating the gills. So now I've got the nose, forehead, and gills. Now I'm going to move to the tail. The tail is just bamboo leaves, but a little bit of a curve to it. Pressure, light, pressure. I'm going to do three. One, pressure, and then lift, then start light, add pressure, and then lift. That gives me the fish's tail. For the dorsal fin on the back, it's going to be four bamboo leaves. Again, going light, heavy, light, and each bamboo leaf I'm going to make a little bit smaller. Two, three, four. There's the fin. Now for the side fins, it's the same. It's just a bamboo leaf coming off the side of the gills. One, two, and it gives me the basics of a lovely beta. Once I've got those in, now I can move into detail work. I'm going to want to go a little bit darker, add a spot for the eye, maybe a little crescent behind it. The mouth is down here in the white part. I just add a little curved line and a little corner for the side of the mouth. I can give a shaky little line for the back side of the gills. And then, of course, some scales, just as dots working their way down the back. And there's my fish.